Hey YouTube, this is Cypress 4K, and today I wanted to show you the KTOR pocket socket. I got this in the mail the other day. As you can see here, this is a made in the USA product. Here's the, some specs on it, the weight, height, and width. It's a 10 watt, 120 volts hand crank generator. Let me show you the side of the box. If you want to take a better look at that, you could pause it. Here's the other side of the box. Just in case you want to read that. Alright. Let's get into the package. This is how it looks coming out the box. Nothing else in the box. So you don't need that. As you see it here, it comes with... Like a little operating manual to show you some stuff on how to use the product. And I also wanted to mention that um, KTOR does have a, a YouTube channel. So you can get some basic more information on this. On how to use this properly. As you can see, it's pretty large. Comes with this elastic band to keep it in place. Just in case you put this in one of your kits, your book bag, your backpack, an emergency kit you may have, maybe a car kit. This won't come loose. So this comes in handy. A nice little elastic band to keep that in place. See this, you pop this open here, and then boom. As you can see there, it says 120 volts DC. And this is what makes this um, hand crank generator unique. It comes with the AC power plug. It's pretty large. This is a very unique hand crank generator. This is the biggest one I've seen. It doesn't weigh too much. I believe it said it weighed 14 ounces, so that's not bad. And um, it has a good grip right here. So you could palm it and then use your right hand. And you could also use it on your left hand if you want. It has a, a hard plastic feel. It does feel very durable. I must say that. But... um. Let's see what this could do. I'm going to try to generate some things, give you some examples of what you could use this for. Let's get it started. As you can see here, I have a tablet. This is the Kindle Fire HD. This is an 8 inch tablet. I'm going to take my plug and plug it in there. The key to this is that you want to start fast to get this charging. And you also want to make sure that any device you're charging is 10 watts or under. Because if not, you'll put an overload to your generator. So you got to be wary of that because now the new products, they're coming out with fast charging. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to mess this up. So let's get it started. And as you can see there, it's already charging. I put a close-up of that. So it does work with that. You do have to do big wide turns, but that's expected because this is such a, you know, a powerful hand crank generator. So, you know, the bigger the turn, the more crank you're going to get out of it and the faster too that you go. But let's get into the next item that I'm going to charge so you can see that real quick. Here's another example of how you could use this, which I think this will probably be most important to use an item like this. Um, if, if you were in an emergency situation, of course, you will be ro probably rolling with your cell phone so you could charge it direct, which is cool. But let's say you go camping or hiking 
and you have a power bank and you want it, it died and you wanted to give it a little more juice you could also use this for that too as you can see I plugged it in I have it in the input there and you'll see the lights light up if it's charging it So it does work with those. Another power bank, as you can see, I plugged into a different power bank. As you can see, it also charges that. So I would definitely, if you go camping or hiking and you take power banks and God forbid they die, you have this as a backup to help charge those portable devices and power banks. Here's another example. If you have um, flashlights that charge via micro USB, you can also charge these with this. You probably can't see that, but you see the light is lighting up because I'm charging it. Now, um, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying the flashlights that you could charge via micro USB. I, I, I'm not, I'm so intent to flashlights like this, not the ones that use um, battery power like AA or AAA. Because like I said, you could charge something like this with your power bank or with your emergency hand crank generator. And if your power bank so happens to go out, you could charge your power bank with this and then charge your various items with your power bank. Now I'm just doing this as a test purpose, but here's another example that you could use this with. I'm just doing this to show you that this can charge these rechargeable batteries and this type of setup. I will only do this if it was a real emergency situation. I will also recommend using the shortest extension cable as possible because that's that's OD right there, that's too much cable. But just to show you, God forbid. Just to show you that this can be done with this plug. Now like I said, don't exceed the 10 watts of charging, the capabilities of the um, hand crank generator. Because you could damage your hand crank generator. And then, uh, you know, like I said, a dire emergency, you don't, you don't want to mess this up. Because this may be your only source of electrical power. But um, they do, you could pick multiple of these up, these hand crank generators. And they also sell the, the foot pedal generator, which is a bigger item and I it'll crank out more power and that one will probably be a little easier to do because you'll be sitting down it's like you're riding a bike but you're cranking out power and with that I'm pretty sure that's a bigger load that you could um, crank out but this is um this is cool this is small lightweight portable I'm telling you you We'll only use this, like like I said, for emergency purposes. You could take it with you on a hiking trip, a camping trip. This is a, a peace of mind. Uh, uh, just in case something happens, I have it and I could use it. But if um, things really go bad and the, let's say the power grid goes out, you're going to wish you had one of these. Because this may be your only source of power. So I do recommend this product. Um, I would get probably two or three of these because you'll probably want to have one of these in your house, one of these in your car, and um, probably another one for when you go hiking or camping. God forbid something happens, you get lost or hurt, and your battery dies on your cell phone. Like I said, this gives you peace of mind just knowing that you have it. I highly recommend this. Maybe for the house, I'll probably get the the pedal one that's like the bike because that one will put out more power but yeah this is a good product i'd like to thank ken from ktor for sending me this for review i give this a thumbs up
Um, thank you for watching. I'll put links to this below and links to the website and the company below. If you have any questions, you can email them directly. They have great customer service. They will get back to you. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for sharing your time with me. This is Cypress 4K, and I'm out.